Hello all, welcome to part 7 of Cucumber Hybrid Framework series. In this session, I am going to implement the element utilities in the so far created or built framework. So let's get started. So guys, as part of this part 7 of this uh, Cucumber Hybrid Framework series, okay, I'm going to implement this element utils guys. So these are the methods I'm going to create guys, okay. So I'm going to create a method for waiting for an element, clicking on the element, typing text into the element, select options in drop down, accept alert, mouse, hover and click element, JavaScript click, JavaScript type. Like that, based on the requirement, we can create any number of element utils. So these are few sample element util methods that I'm going to showcase or show you how to implement them in the so far created framework. Apart from that, we're also going to implement this constants, guys, okay? For implicit wait and page load time, I'm going to uh, build this constants, okay? So I'm going to show you everything practically. So to take the so far bits framework to the next level by using this element utils and constants. So let's quickly switch to this uh, Eclipse ID where we have this uh, framework, which is uh, built so far. Okay. So I'll be providing the... Uh, I'll be providing a URL guys, okay? Uh, a link where you can download this uh, framework, okay? So download and uh, use this framework in this session. I'll do that in this session guys, okay? You can find in the notes of this particular session where you will find the uh, link to download this particular framework that we have, I have built so far, okay? In the, in these seven parts, fine. So after this session, uh, including this, uh, whatever the implementation I will do, the complete project I'll be sharing you, okay? Via link. And I'll, I'll provide that link in the notes. Anyhow, this is a project, guys. This is a framework or project that I have, that I have built so far. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to create this element utils, okay? Already we have this uh, utils package. Under utils package, I'm going to create a class, right click and create a class known as element utils okay element utils class i'm creating click on finish once the element utils class is uh, created inside this element utils class i'll be creating some methods okay so i'll show you practically how to create all these methods okay some progress is going on let's wait for the progress to complete okay fine so i'll show you guys first i'll be creating this uh Click on element, then type text into element. Okay, these two uh, element util methods I'll create first. So the, let's wait for this progress to finish up, guys. I'll pause the video and resume once this is complete. Yeah, the dialog has gone off. So under the element utils, I'm going to create the first uh, util element util method that is click on element. Okay, so I'll just simply say public void, public void, click on element. Okay, simple method. You can give any name. Okay, whatever the reasonable name you want to give for this element util method, that's fine. Okay, the thing here is uh, in the element, I'll I'll receive two parameters here. Okay, I'll receive two parameters. One of the parameter is a web element parameter, web element element. I'll say, and other one is the duration, guys. Long duration in seconds. Okay, duration in seconds. These two parameters I'll give. And I'll hover the mouse on this web element and import this web element from Selenium library. Now, once you receive this element and duration in seconds, what I'm going to do here, okay? What code I'm going to write. First, I want to wait for this element, guys, okay? So before clicking on an element, I would like to wait for this particular element to be clickable. So what I will do for that is, I'll write this code, web driver wait code, okay? So web driver wait, wait is equal to new web driver, Wait like this. I'll create a method. Uh, I'll create an object for this web driver. Wait, explicit waiting mechanism in Selenium, guys. This is we are explicitly waiting for a particular element. Okay, over the mouse and import this web driver. Wait from Selenium, and here this cannot be empty. This should be there. There will be two parameters, guys. One will be the driver, web driver's driver, and other one will be the duration. So here I have to give the driver, and the second will be duration dot of seconds. Okay, these seconds is these seconds are nothing but whatever the seconds I am passing duration in seconds. Okay, this duration in seconds, that's fine. And next thing is this driver, you are getting error because from where we can get the driver. To get the driver, guys, I'll create a constructor here. Okay, 
while creating an object for this class, automatically I would like to capture this driver. Okay? So I'll create a constructor here, public element utils, and here I'll write web driver driver. So we need to pass the driver while creating an object for this. Okay, by passing the driver via the constructor, we'll do that. Pour the mode on this web driver and import this web driver from Selenium. Here also I'll write web driver driver, the class level driver this is, and simply here say this dot driver is equal to driver. Okay, this dot driver is equal to driver. That's it. Fine. This part is done. We got the driver, guys. We got the driver. Uh, when the object is created for this class, automatically we'll get the driver, and that driver is recognized here. Okay. So now we have to wait for this particular element, guys. Okay, whatever the element, uh, we have to wait for that. For that, I will be writing wait dot until expected conditions dot okay expected wait dot until expected uh, conditions dot uh, element to be clickable web element. Okay, so like this element to be clickable, I'll be writing this and uh, until method will return you an object of the web element. Okay. It will return you the object of the element, guys. I'll say we, we stands for web element, okay? Or you can write web element, okay? Web element also you can write, no problem. This this is a web element, okay? So hold the mouse and create local variable, web element element you will get. Now what I have to do after waiting for this element, what I have to do, I have to click on this element, okay? I'll simply write the web element dot click. That's it, guys, okay? So instead of simply clicking, we are just waiting for the element and then clicking, okay? This is a better way of, uh, Waiting and clicking on an element, okay, on an element. Now this method is done, guys. This uh, element util method is done. One of the element util method is done. Now let's go and implement the next element util method that is type text into element, okay? Public void type text into element. Here again, I'll say the same thing, web element element. And here, a one more extra parameter is required when compared to click on element. Here only two parameters are there. Here one, one more additional parameter is required, that is text. We have to receive uh, whatever the text we have to enter into that particular uh, element that we have to receive, guys, okay? Text to be typed, text uh, to be typed, okay? Into the element, whatever it is, okay? Spring text to be typed, comma, and here one more, one more thing that is a uh, long duration in seconds, okay? Long duration in seconds. And here I'll be writing, uh, web driver wait wait is equal to new web driver wait okay so here I'll write uh, driver comma duration dot of seconds duration dot of seconds and I'll write duration in seconds here that's fine now I'll write down wait dot until wait dot until expected conditions dot element here i want to uh, before typing guys i want to do one thing i want to click inside the element i want to clear the text any existing text in the element and then i want to type okay so i have to wait for clicking right so here also i write expected conditions dot element to be clickable web element okay so this is a web element and this method until we'll return you an object of the web element. So I'll write web element, web element, just to have a different name. I'm giving element and web element here. Okay. Over the mouse and say, create local variable. Now here, what I will do is I'll do the operations here. First, I have to click on the web element. Okay. To type into the element, first I have to click inside the element. The best way, whenever you're typing, don't directly type this first. Uh, it's a good practice to click inside the element. And uh, after clicking inside the element, then you have to clear any particular text is available in that element. And then only you have to say send keys and type the text, whatever the text that need to be typed, you just copy from this parameter and paste it here. Okay. This, this is the best way of, uh, you know, implementing typing into the element. Okay. Next. So two methods are completed guys. Two methods are completed. Now, after looking at these two methods, you can clearly understand that these two lines are same. You see, these two lines are same. You are waiting for the element to be clickable. Here also you are waiting for the element to be clickable. To reduce the number of lines, what I will do is I'll create one more method, guys. Okay. I'll say public void wait for element. Okay. Reusability I'm going to implement. Okay. Wait for element. What is the web element I want to wait for? I have to wait for web element element. 
and how much time I have to wait for that is long duration in seconds. Duration in seconds. Like this, I'll create a method, wait for element method, and I'll copy these two lines. These two lines I'll implement here. And uh, on implementing, what I will do here is here I'll write web driver wait, wait is going to be web driver wait, driver, okay, duration dot off seconds, this duration in seconds. There's a spelling mistake here. Duration in seconds. Same thing I need to copy paste everywhere, guys. Okay. There are some spelling mistakes uh, here and there. This is fine. Okay. So fine. Uh, these two lines I have copy pasted, and uh, you know, we are waiting, uh, waiting for the element here. Okay. Instead of waiting here in every method, I'm I'm I created a reusable method. And uh, we'll be waiting for that uh, element, guys. Okay, we'll be waiting for that element. That's it. Web element, web element is equal to wait dot until expected conditions. Element to be clickable, I'll write. Okay. So this particular method is going to when you are waiting for element, it is going to return you the element, guys. Okay. It, uh, simply, I'll write uh, instead of writing all this stuff, I'll simply say return, guys. Okay. Return. Return. And here, a return type should be web element. Okay. Like this, I'll create a method. Now I'll provide this inside the try catch block. If any exceptions are there, uh, you know, they will be raised here. So just write down here, catch exception, or I can say throwable. Okay. Throwable E, if any, no such element exception or any type of exceptions comes in the statements, E dot print track trace, I'll print it out and I'll make this, uh, Instead of writing written directly here, what I'll do is uh, I'll do one thing. I'll just say web element. I'll, uh, web element, I'll say web element, web element. Now I'll say web element is equal to here. Instead of writing written directly here, I'll write web element is equal to I'll say. So this will be assigned to this. And finally, here I'll say return. Return web element. Okay. If there is no exception, uh, the element will be returned. So I have to initialize this to null then errors will be gone. You see this uh, wait, wait method is implemented. So you don't have to write this many lines here. Okay, you don't have to write this many lines here. Simply do one thing, just uh, remove this line. Okay, and here, just call this method, wait for element method. Wait for element method, you just call it and uh, you pass this uh, element to this third calling statement and you have to pass the number of seconds, okay? That is duration in seconds. So this method will return you the web element and on that web element, which, which you have waited for on that you are performing the operation here. Also, you'll do the same thing. You will reduce this line. You will reduce and here, uh, instead of writing all this code, you will simply say, uh, wait for element. You'll call, you'll call this method here and uh, you'll be passing the element here, which you have received while calling this statement, uh, method and, uh, the number of seconds also you'll pass here. Okay. And that will return you the web element on that web element you are clicking. Okay. These two lines are enough. Here also, this uh, four lines are enough. Okay. Like this, I have uh, written a proper, uh, you know, wait, wait for element thing. That is also done. The next one is <clears throat> these three are completed. Select option in drop down, guys. Okay. Like the many methods we can implement, guys. Okay. Based on our requirement in our project also. We can keep building this element utils. Whatever the element utils I am saying is this are not the final ones, guys. You can keep on creating any number of based on your automation script you're writing in your code. Okay, all this logic you can push into these methods. Okay, so to make this, I'll show you guys. Okay, after this few few said uh, methods are implemented, you will understand that. Okay, how we are going to utilize this element utils. I'm going to show you clearly. Okay, select select option in drop down. One more method, public wide select option in drop down. Uh, so here, what are the methods uh, that I have to implement select? Uh, here, first of all, we have to receive the web element first. Okay. Web element of the drop down field. Okay. Then uh, which option we have to select? Okay. Spring drop down option, drop down option. Okay. Option name, whatever the option name we'll receive in the form of the text. Okay. Then here I'll write the code for uh, selecting an option from the drop down field. Select, select is equal to new select. Okay, in Selenium, we have to write like this, right? Select, select is equal to new select. We have to create an object for the select class. 
for the ozone they select class and uh, import this select from selenium and here we have to pass this web element that is drop down field element and now using this object reference so before you actually uh, perform this operation guys what you have to do is you have to wait for this element right you have to wait for this element okay so already we have created this me method okay so i'll write down like this okay so web element web element web element is equal to call this method and pass the element comma and uh, so here also we'll pass duration in seconds long duration in seconds long duration long duration in seconds uh, that long duration in seconds i'll provide here how much time we have to wait kind of thing so uh, this web element i'll pass here now i'll perform the operations okay so easy right select dot select by visible text i'll take and i'll pass this particular drop down option text here okay drop down option text here that's it guys we have selected an option okay we have waited for that uh, drop down field and then selected an option done like this we can implement guys very easy to implement okay uh then what is the next one next method we have to implement accept alert public void accept alert okay accept you see uh, on an alert you can accept an alert you can dismiss an alert you can do a lot of operations on the alert this method is one of the method i am creating you can create a lot of methods for that accepting dismissing and uh, doing a lot of things on the alerts but uh, based on your requirement you have to create so many number of element utils so i am just uh, creating high level methods for now okay here uh, So you see, when an alert comes, what you will do, you'll switch to the alert, right? You will, you have to switch to the alert. So we have to receive that uh, a driver will be there anyhow here when the creating the constructor, you'll get the driver. So I'll write, simply write down driver dot, but here we have to wait for the alert case. Okay. We have to wait for the alert first. Okay. Alert to be displayed. Then only we have to switch to the alert. So I'll, I'll implement this, uh, wait for alert method. Okay, if multiple accept alert, all those things come, then we can go with this. We can create a separate method for alerts. Okay, wait, wait for alerts, public wide, wait for alert. Okay, wait for alert. Like this one, the usable method I will create. And in this, I'll write web driver, wait, wait is equal to new web driver, wait. And here I'll pass driver, comma, duration dot of seconds. And here, here I'll write down spring, sorry, not uh, spring, long duration in seconds. Okay. Much time we have to wait. Here also we'll have the same thing, long duration in seconds. Okay. So here I'll pass this duration in seconds and uh, write down wait dot until expected conditions dot, uh, any mistake? Wait dot until expected uh, conditions dot alert is present. You have to wait for the alert to be present. Okay. And this will return you alert case. Okay. Alert is equal to for the mouse and say create local variable. And uh, you need to return this alert guys. Okay. You need to return this alert like this. So sometimes uh, you may get an exception also. So in the case of exception, when the alert is not coming, no such element exception may come. So for that reason, you have to surround this uh, code with try catch blocks, catch exception, uh, throwable I'll write the highest form, throwable E. Here I'll write E dot print track trace. Now I'll make this uh, alert a kind of uh, directly created answer, uh, alert is equal to null I'll mention and uh, here I'll say alert I'll, I'll, I'll remove the double declaration I'll simply return this alert and uh, here the return type will be alert okay once you wait for the alert uh, the alert will be received okay so you have to call that alert here so wait for alert method you have to call here so for that you have to pass how much time you want to wait that is duration in seconds you have to pass only this much is required and uh, this will return you an object of this alert okay so alert is equal to for the mouse and say create local variable now you perform the operation on the alert okay what is the operation you want to perform 
accept the alert. That's it. Okay, accept the alert. You can create other methods for dismissing the alert and all those stuff. You can create here. Okay, public wire dismiss dismiss alert. Okay, reject the alert. Okay, press canceling button, cancel button, or something like that. Long. You have to pass this equation, and here again you have to call this method. Wait for alert method to dismiss also. And here you have to pass duration in seconds. You have to wait for the alert to be displayed. And here alert is equal to create for the mouse and say create local variable and simply write down alert dot dismiss. Okay, that's it. So there are other things also like uh, reading the text from the alert. Okay, typing the text into the confirmation dialog. Many things are there. Guys, okay. These things are fine for no, uh, just to understand the reusability of wait for waiting for alert. Okay, so next one. Let's go with the next one. That is the mouse hover and click element. Okay, mouse. You have to move um, hover the mouse on a particular element and click on that element. Okay, mouse hover and click element. Public, wide. Mouse hover and click. Okay, mouse hover and click on the element. Mouse over and click means what? Using mouse, you are clicking here. Okay, you are not uh, clicking with the help of uh, you know Selenium commands. Click command. Rather, you are using your mouse to hover and over the your mouse on the. Sometimes it may be required in some of the scenarios where normal web driver click will not work. Then we may choose to uh, use our mouse to hover the mouse onto that element and then click using the mouse case. Okay. Sometimes it will be required in your real time. Okay. So on which element you have to hover and click? That I'm writing here web element element. And uh, but before hovering and all, we have to wait for the element uh, to be present and all. So long duration in second, I'll write duration in seconds. And here I have to wait for this particular element to be. We don't know whether it is mouse clickable or not. So we have to wait for the element uh, to be visible or something. Okay. We have to wait for the element to be visible. So here I'll be writing web driver wait wait is equal to new web driver wait here I'll write driver comma duration dot of seconds and here provide this duration in seconds here. So what we are waiting for wait dot until we'll see a better condition here expected conditions dot okay. So what I have to wait for, I don't have to wait for the element, element uh, alert to be present. Rather, I want to wait for the element to be okay. Let's see if we can find a better uh, method, better condition. Visibility is fine, so that uh, if it is visible, we can do any mouse click and all visibility of web element okay or any other thing yeah visibility is the best option here visibility of web element okay put a semicolon here wait for the visibility okay so this is specific to this particular mouse or and click so i'll keep this inside this okay so if any other uh, mouse related actions comes we can separate this okay we wait for visibility like that you can create a method here now also you can create a method no problem Okay, so this will return you an object of this web element. I'll write web element uh, is equal to for the mouse on this web element and say create local variable and simply write down uh, actions. Actions is equal to new actions. Here I have to pass a driver. Okay, for the mouse on this actions and uh, import actions from Selenium library and simply say actions dot move uh, move to element which element we have to move to this particular element we have to move to move to this web element guys okay for which we have waited for and then I have to click then i would say build dot perform okay so by writing this it will wait for the element and wait for the and then perform the mouse over and click okay move to element means mouse over and click means it will mouse click okay this is this is a code okay this kind of implemented code should be there as part of the element utils guys and I can separate this uh, waiting mechanism. It's a different type of waiting, right? Public wired wait for 
visibility of element, visibility of uh, element. Wait for visibility of element. And here I'll write down these two things again. Same parameters. And whenever you call this method, uh, these lines will be executed. Copy these two lines and paste it here. So element is uh, coming here and duration is coming here. And uh, we have to return this web element, guys. How to return this web element? So here I'll say, I'll surround this with try catch block in case there are any errors, okay? While we are waiting if the element is not coming. So it will throw an exception, okay? Timeout exception or whatever it is. You come, catch, uh, throwable, throwable E. And here I'll write down E dot print trash trace. And I'll make this global, guys, okay? I'll make this global inside this method. Okay, I'll take it outside the try catch blocks so that it will be visible outside this uh, try catch blocks. I'll remove the double declaration and simply I'll return whenever this method is called, I'll return this web element, okay, which we have waited for the visibility of. Now, simple guys, remove this line, this is not required. Now, simply say web element element is equal to, you have to call this method, guys, okay. For waiting, you don't have to write all the difficult code here. Simply you have to call this method, wait, wait for visibility of element. In real time, you may need different type of waiting methods, okay, as per your requirement in your project. All these kind of waiting methods you have to create in the element utils here. And you have to pass, it's uh, two things, element you have to pass, comma, duration in seconds you have to pass. Done. So what's the problem here? There's some wait for visibility of element, element and duration in seconds you are passing, but uh, it's not taking. Change the return type of, uh, Okay, return type I didn't change here, right? I have to change this to web element, then it will be fine. Okay, done. So here we have to make it null, initialize this, okay? Otherwise it will not accept. Save all, the errors are gone. Now go to the next one, JavaScript click. Sometimes you see, normal click will not work. Mouse over and click will not work. Mouse over and mouse click will not work. Then other solution for getting the thing click possibly is a JavaScript click. So we may implement JavaScript click in that case. So how to implement that public void, public void, I'll say JavaScript click. Okay, JavaScript click I'll say. For this JavaScript click also, we need this uh, web element. We have to wait for the element and all those things should happen, guys. Okay, so what I will do here is uh, wait for the element to be clickable, may not work. Wait for the visibility of element is fine in this case also. Uh, because normal click is not working, that's the reason only we came for JavaScript click. So I'll just say wait for visibility of element. I'll call this method and I'll pass the element uh, comma duration in seconds. Once waiting for once the element is appeared on the page, is visible on the page. Okay, so here like this, we will capture this into the web element. Web element is equal to for the mouse create local variable. You see this this method is reusable now. Okay multiple methods we are using that's fine how to implement javascript click i have to typecast the driver guys. okay i have to typecast the driver with a javascript executor javascript uh, this should be lowercase completely javascript this S should be in lowercase completely okay so only j will be in capital and executor you have to say and oh thanks uh, provide circular brackets Uh, simply say JSE is equal to now over the mouse over the mouse on JavaScript executor and uh, import this JavaScript executor from Selenium and uh, return type of this uh, will be this JavaScript executor only. Okay. Now say JSE dot using this object reference you have to call a method that is execute script execute script you have to say and uh, this one you take this one and here you have to write uh, different things. Here you provide the web element, guys. What is the web element uh, that you want to JavaScript click? That web element you provide here. And uh, to refer this web element, you have to write in JavaScript, you have to write arguments of zero. Arguments of zero means this is a first argument, right? So in this uh, execute script method, this is a first argument. So that first argument will have the index zero. And here I have to say dot click, guys. Okay. I have to say dot click. I'll put a semicolon here. Okay. It will click on the element using JavaScript. Okay, so this is how we can do JavaScript, guys. Okay, this is how we can do JavaScript. So we are done. We are good. Now JavaScript type also. There may be some cases where when you are typing the text into an element, normal send keys method will not work. You have to go with the JavaScript uh, 
typing okay so for that public wide so you can google search for this kind of code guys okay javascript code in selenium for clicking on the element you'll get this code online okay no need to worry much javascript uh, javascript type here again three parameters will be there not two parameters because we have to type the text also right string text to be typed okay text to be type also will be there and here also we have to wait for the element guys we will be waiting for the element we will copy paste this one okay wait for the visibility of element this particular element for which we are waiting for this much of time okay automatically this waiting mechanism is implemented again this line will be same guys we have to type as a driver and write this line and again we have to call this method jsa.execute script and here this is a web element on which uh, we have to type the text into so instead of writing like this okay we have to say dot value so here is some tricky thing that we have to do okay value is equal to here we have to pass the value guys so is equal to in single quotes I have to append this in single quotes guys okay otherwise it is not going to work okay this text to be typed i need to append uh, i don't i i remember like this uh, to be done okay here we are providing the value in single quotes and here plus operator i am writing in between and uh, here value is equal to in sing in between single quotes this text to be typed should come so done that's it okay arguments of dot value and uh, this is a dynamic right text what text we are typing will be dynamic so we have to do like this value is equal to some value we can do but that is cannot that cannot be static so we are reading from here okay for that to get from this uh, parameter we are writing like this okay so this is a code for a javascript type and uh, that's it guys element utils are completed guys element utils are completed these are so so far we have created good number of methods inside this element utils control shift o and then save all close element utils is implemented properly now okay this, that element utils will be part of this framework you can okay i'll provide the link to download this framework and all you can take it from there guys this file you can take it from there okay so what i'll do next is uh i'll go to this uh my feature files and all those stuff i'll go to the login dot feature file the methods uh the steps for this uh, feature file are implemented in the login dot java file as you already know here the step definition methods are there so here and there we'll and uh, we'll type the text uh, we'll uh, click on the things okay click on the login button many operations we are doing instead of doing like this you see enter email address is a method right here we are calling enter email address okay or here from here we'll start okay uh, driver factory home click on my account you see here you are clicking so go into this method go into this method guys where you are clicking and here instead of writing my account drop menu dot click we have created a proper wait uh, click method uh, click operation here uh, this click on element method okay where we are waiting for the element and click we don't have to write a separate code for waiting now this is part of this method util method you have to call this method guys elements or uh, click on elements method you have to call so how to make that possible so here instead of writing like this instead of writing my account drop menu dot click what i will do is here I'll call, I have to call this method guys, click on elements uh, method I need to call. For that to call, I need to create an object for element utils. Here I'll create an object for the element utils. That is a uh, private element utils, element uh, utils, like this I'll create an object. Pour the mouse on element utils and import this from utils package here. Okay, this class belongs to utils package. Now say element utils is equal to, in the constructor you can say guys, okay, in the constructor, uh, okay you can pass this driver into the thing okay so here you can say element utils dot sorry el uh, element utils is equal to new element utils new element utils and you have to pass the driver that's it now this element utils are you can see that it's active now now i'll go to this method and here using this object reference i'll call that method okay element utils dot click on element okay like this you have to call click on element and you have to pass this which option here which option i have to click my account drop menu i have to click so this is option how many seconds waiting mechanism generally you give uh 15 seconds okay 15 seconds because 10 seconds is for implicit wait already we have given 10 seconds for implicit wait 
So 15 seconds is good. Okay. But depending on the type of the element you are waiting for, you can give guys. Okay. If the element you don't have to wait, even though you give 30 also not a problem guys. Okay. So this is not a problem guys. 30 you can give no problem for waiting. This is explicit wait, right? You can give minimum 30, no problem. Okay. Maximum time it will wait for the element is 30 seconds. Okay. So fine. If the element is not coming, only specific to this element, it will wait. Next one. This one is done. So go back. So click on my account is implemented. Now select login option. This method need to be implemented now. Again, the same thing guys. Here, what I have to do here to click on this login option, I have to write this element utils uh, utils dot click on element and I have to pa pass this login option here, which need to be clicked and uh, here I'll give 30 seconds. Okay, not a problem. You don't have to write this line anymore. Okay, you are waiting and clicking. That's more important. Better way of clicking, you can say. Okay, sometimes you may have to do JavaScript click and all. In that situations only you'll be using it. Otherwise, you'll use normal Selenium clicking. Okay, so next one. Where is the next one? Either we can go with that approach or here also register option dot click is coming. Wherever you are doing this, uh, simply write down the statement. Okay, and uh, this register option you provide here. This line is no more required. Okay. Next here, sending keys you are doing. Okay. And uh, from starting method, you are implementing in all the step definition classes, you are implementing all this stuff. This is the easiest way to go via step definition method. Uh, I mean, sorry, page classes. Okay. Uh, page object model classes. Uh, this is a better way. Okay. Yes, yeah, sending keys means what you will do is I uh, will simply say element utils, element utils dot. Uh, type type text into elements and uh, search box field is element here and this is the product text that you enter into the text enter into the element and uh, yeah, uh, I'll explicitly wait for 30 seconds for this and uh, here I don't have to write this anymore okay here type into text is uh, very sophisticated than normal type okay because we have implemented in a better way here if you have to type, you are clicking into the element, then clearing the text in the element, then you are typing. Okay. There's a better way of typing. Okay. So you don't have to write that each and everything everywhere. Okay. So just one, one line, it's done. Clicking, clearing, and entering is done. Waiting is also done automatically. Okay. With the single line. Next one, again, clicking has come. So click on element you have to use. Element utils dot click on element and which element search button. Just copy the search button here. That's done. Okay. That's it, guys. We have implemented all these methods of the homepage.java. Okay. So I'll go to the login page.java now and implement here also. For that, again, I need to create an object for the element uh, element utils. Element utils. Put a semicolon. Over the mouse on the element utils and import this from utils package. Now say element utils is equal to the constructor you have to write new element utils and you have to pass a driver here. Okay. Now element utils until system utils. Okay. Then it's fine. Now write down element utils here. Come to the method. Send case is there. Element utils dot type text into the elements. Uh, this is email field. So give that email field. This email text you are typing here and here give 30 seconds. Okay. Done. And this line is not required. Now, here also send keys is there. Same thing, you have to type, copy this, paste it here. And in place of this uh, email field, you give password field. And here you give password text. Done. This line is done. Like this, you can convert guys. Okay. We are using element utilities methods inside the page object classes. Okay. Methods of the page object classes. So this will take the framework to the next level. This element utils will take this framework to the next level. The clicking is has come. Clicking has come. So for uh, you see element utils dot click on element and here give login button give 30 seconds waiting mechanism and let me click return the account page driver that's fine account page okay then here one more method is there it's kind of different guys it is retrieving the text guys okay for retrieving the text did we create any utility method for retrieving the text between the tags, uh, between the tags, we didn't create any element utils, right? Now it's the time to create, okay? If this kind of situation, new things come, immediately for this methods, you have to create that, guys, okay? 
the login page last method is uh, doing a different operation than whatever my element utils are doing. I'll write down here one method I'll write down element util method public void get text. Okay. Uh, get text from element. Okay. Get text from element. Here, the web element duration. Okay. You have to write. And uh, what is the code I will write? First of all, to get element, uh, get text from element, I have to wait for the element, right? I have to wait for the element. So for that, I'll be calling this method. Wait for element method. Web element element is equal to like this. I'll write down. Okay. Once we get the web element, then I'll write web element dot dot get text command. I'll use here. And here I'll return. Okay. I'll return. And this will be the string format. Spring. So now come back to the login and uh, instead of writing like this, what I'll write is element. So controls it, controls it once. This is warning message dot get text. Okay. So I'll simply return element uh, utils dot get text from element. For that, I'll be passing this warning message and uh, waiting mechanism also I'm implementing here automatically. Put a semicolon here. And that's it. This is not required anymore. Okay. So like this, based on your requirements in your automation code, you have to create a good number of element utils. Okay. So these things keep on coming guys. Okay. Whenever you get that uh, opportunity, you just create the element utils. Okay. For the things that you have not implemented in the element utils. For login page dot Java is also done guys. Home page dot Java is also done. Now I will go to the Log and login page is done. Home page is done. Okay. I'll go to the account page guys. First one here also write down private web element L, uh, web element, uh, sorry, not web element guys, element utils, element, uh, utils, private element utils, element, uh, element. Yes. Put a semicolon. Import this element utils from utils package. Now say element utils is equal to new element utils of driver you have to pass. Now use this element utils in your methods. Only one method is there, guys. You see a different requirement came is displayed, okay? So if displayed has come. So how to verify this is displayed then. Mm. Okay, fine. So is displayed. What I will do here is I'll write this code. Element utils dot. This method is not there. Is displayed method is not there in element utils. Public uh, public void. Display status of element. Display status of element I'll write down. And here, copy this. Waiting mechanism also I'm implementing here. That's the only the difference. We have to wait for the element to be visible. Uh, I'll write down. Wait for visibility of element. Okay, this one I'll write down here. Okay, or anyhow, we are checking the visibility only, but if you want really waiting mechanism, we are getting implement, okay, maximum time you are giving. And uh, <clears throat> okay, then I'll simply say web element dot is displayed, okay. So here there is a possibility of exception, guys, okay. So I'll do one thing, I'll surround this with uh, try catch blocks. Okay, do that just to make sure this is working fine. I'll do this. Otherwise, it's not work. Not work. Catch throwable e right e dot print stack trace. Here I'll say return return the display status. I'll say boolean here. 
Here I will say return false. Okay. Return false. Okay. Here return true will come or else it will return. Here also return false I will say. Okay. Return false. So we are handling the exception and returning false case. Okay. Simple. So what's the problem here? Return false, uh, unreachable code, remove it. Then if it is not required, you can remove it. Either in try block will be there or in catch block will be there. Okay, that's fine. This method is good. This is the best way of implementing. Wait for visibility of element and uh, if it is, if it is uh, after waiting, if it is displayed, we'll return true. Uh, if it is not displayed, uh, it will come into the catch block anyhow because of the exception and we'll return false, okay? Now come back here and implement this element utils dot Display status of element and what is the element? Edit your account information option element and how much time? 30 seconds you are giving. Okay, waiting mechanism also there. You have to give, return this. Okay, return this. Display status. Okay, it will return the Boolean value, the same Boolean value are returning. You see Boolean value. Okay, done. Now, account page also, the element utils is implemented perfectly fine. Then let's go to the account success page. Here also, I'll write down private element utils element utils okay so now over the mode on this element utils and import this from utils package now write down element utils dot uh, is equal to new element utils of we have to pass a driver here and then copy this element utils and go to the methods here retrieving the text already we have done this retrieve text dot get uh, text from element and you have to pass this page heading and here 30 seconds that's it put a semicolon done you have to return this right return so it is returning the string text only that is uh, being written after waiting also okay so save this and close this this is also done home page is done login log register page a lot of methods will be there in the register page we have to spend some time here private element utils element uh, utils for the more than element utils and import this from utils package now say element utils is equal to new element uh, utils of uh, driver now copy this element utils and come back here and here you see send keys is there so in place of send keys we will write element utils dot type type text into element and here, uh, first name field, you have to pass first name field, first name text, and 30 seconds. Okay, that's fine. Set the case is done. Here, also, same thing. Copy this line just to save time and just copying this line. Now, in place of the first name field, you will give last name field. In place of the first name text, you have to give last name text. And 30 seconds will remain same. And uh, this line you can remove. And here also send case is there again. Copy paste, uh, copy paste this line. This is email field. Email field you give. Email text you give here in 30 seconds. Done. So here again send case. Telephone field. Telephone text. Done. Copy this, paste it here, password field, password text, done, password confirm field, password text, you remove this one, and uh, select privacy policy, click, click is there, here you have to write element, utils, dot, Click on element here, privacy policy option you are clicking and uh, 30 seconds you pass, it will do the job. Account success page, also same thing. Uh, click on element we have to use. Continue button, remaining is same. Here, again the same thing, click on element. Yes, newsletter option done. For get text, it is a different thing, right? Element utils, uh, just copy this line, paste it here. I'll remove this one. 
So in place of this one, I'll write element utils, sorry, element utils dot get get text from element warning message you have to pass and I'll give 30 seconds put a semicolon that's done you see the same things first warning message first uh, name warning here last name warning Just pass this last name warning, that's it. Oh. Email warning. Okay, then here telephone warning. Then here uh, password warning. Save all. Get password warning is also done. And what else is left out? Everywhere element utils is uh, implemented in this uh, register page. Now let's move to the next one. Last page, guys. Okay. With this, we will be done. Private element utils. Element utils. Import this element utils from utils package. Now say element utils is equal to new element utils pass the driver copy this element utils come back here and here is displayed okay return element utils dot display status what is the web element valid hp product is a web element you pass it here and give the 30 seconds the semicolon this is done get message return element utils dot uh, get text from element and pass this message text here and uh, pass this 30 seconds here put a semicolon that's it this is also done any other methods no we are done with all the page classes guys we implemented all this element utils in all the page classes or the page factory so now the time has come for us to run the scripts to see if uh, after implementing the element utils also our scripts are working fine or not, we have to check. For that, I'll open the runner class. This runner class I'll open, guys, okay? I'll right-click on this and say run as JNA test. If the scripts are running, our element utils are good, okay? Okay, let's wait for the scripts to run. We have one more thing, guys, constants also we have to implement that I'm going to show you. You see it's typing, that means they are clicking and all those stuff. It's working fine. Those methods are working fine, here, okay? The first script itself has given us the confidence that uh, things are working fine. So automatically waiting mechanism is implemented, explicit waiting mechanism is implemented in the scripts. And a lot of other things, okay, when you're typing, right, you're clicking, clear, clearing and typing, okay, that kind of things are part of the element utils now. So like this, you can keep on building the methods inside the element utils uh, based on our requirement in our projects and all. And uh, this will take your framework to the next level, okay, things will work fine. And the low level code has been moved to the different place now altogether, okay. We have made the framework more sophisticated now just because of this process. You can implement the same thing in the test ng frameworks also. Okay. When you have page object model, you can implement this uh, element utils. They are also not only in Cucumber projects frameworks, but also there also. But I'm covering this as part of the Cucumber framework in these sessions. Okay. Let's see. The scripts are still running. So last few scripts, I guess. One or two scripts are uh, pending. Last script is pending. Last scenario is pending. After that, we'll get everything. Okay, we got the report.
which got published to the cloud. Copy this report, control C, paste it here and see if any symbols came before HTTP has removed them. Here 160 looks good. Okay, press enter and see the reports. You see 12 out of uh, 14 out of 14 tests got passed. Data treatment tests are also included, included. So 14 tests got passed. Okay. And you can see here everything got passed successfully after implementing the element utils also the things got passed. So things are working fine guys. Okay. Things are working perfectly fine in this framework. So with this, uh, we completed this element utils, but there's one more thing that is constants that we have to implement. Okay. There's something like constants also. So where we can implement this constants is uh, in common utils you can implement or in element utils also you can implement the constant. Any, any utils class you take under the utils package and you can implement the constants, okay? So how to implement this uh, constants here? So guys, uh, we have to write some lines like this, public, static, final, in, implicit, wait, time, okay? Like this we have to write this constants. So why the constants are required, I'll tell you. You just go to the hooks guys, okay? Uh, not hooks guys, sorry, uh, driver, driver factory dot Java. You just go to the driver factory dot Java here. You see this time you are giving right 10 seconds. Okay. This 10 seconds, whatever the 10 seconds you are giving. So this is a hard coded value. Okay. That you are giving for the implicit weight. If you have to give this uh, from a different location, you can create a constant guys. Okay. In the common utils, you can create a constant for this value 10. And like this case, okay. Public, static, final. Uh, it don't have to be static, case. it can be public also, no problem. Public, final, public, final. It's not compulsory that it has to be static. It, static is also fine. Okay, you can keep this static also, not a problem. Okay, so wherever necessary, you are avoiding static. So we are writing like this. Then inch, add a type. And you can give this constant name, any name you can give guys, okay? Implicit uh, h time is equal to some 10, okay? So wherever you have to use this uh, implicit wait time, right? Instead of mentioning 10, you will mention this implicit wait time, okay? How? Uh, just see here, common utils, uh, this static, right? So you can call this with the help of the, this will not change, right? This will not change, it is common. So it's better keep it static for now. So okay that it's static. This methods are not static, but this variable can be static. That's okay. So go to the driver factory where this 10 is required. And here write down common utils dot implicit wait time. That is nothing but 10. Instead of mentioning 10 here, you are getting the constant from there. Okay. So where is other place? Uh, you see here one more line you can write guys. Okay. Page load timeout. Okay. If the page is loading, even after 10 seconds, that's not a good thing. Right. Okay. So you have to give some uh, page load timeout, okay? Page load timeout you have to give, maybe not more than 15 seconds, you don't want to wait for the page to load, okay? If the page is loading beyond 15 seconds, there is a problem with the automation application, right? So that we have to report anyhow. So for that reason, we generally write driver dot manage dot uh, uh, timeouts dot page load timeout, okay? Here another timeout, this is a page load timeout guys, okay? Here I'll give the page load timeout. So here I have to give duration dot of seconds, okay? Duration dot of seconds. And I have to give 15 seconds, let's say, okay? Page load timeout is 15. I'm just giving the timeout because Selenium web driver will wait for the page to load, okay? For whatever the time it wants, okay? It will not give any exception. If the page is keeping on loading, right? Selenium keeps on waiting, okay? It doesn't have any time limits for the page to load. But if you want to set a time limit for the page to load, you have to use page load timeout and here I'm giving 15 seconds instead of giving this 15 here. What I will do is I'll go to the constants again, common utils. I'll write one more, create one more, uh, you know, public static final inch page underscore load underscore time is equal to 15. Okay. Like this you can give ways. Okay. Page load time you can give and how to access this one here. Simply write on common utils dot page load timeout. That's it. Okay. 15 seconds will come here. Here 10 seconds will come. And is there any other way place where we are giving some hard coded values? Uh, we can think of that in element utils in element utils guys. Uh, we are, okay. We are not passing from here. Actually, that's okay guys. Uh, that's okay. That's fine. Um, 
in most of the cases we have that 30 second sync uh, in the web definition classes we are passing here you see we are passing 30 seconds here hard coded values are being passed here also we can use uh, instead of 30 we can give some something okay so further again public static final int uh, ex, ex, uh, ex, uh, explicit uh, page basic time okay if you want to give any other specific uh, next level time medium time like that you can give some variables here and give 30 guys explicit weight basic time so common utils i'll just call this wherever i need right uh, i'll simply write common utils dot uh, explicit weight basic time okay so this is what is the intention i mean to say okay? instead of giving 30 you can give like this okay this also will work fine i uh, go to the account success page do the same thing for all the methods uh, common utils, common utils dot explicit wait basic time that is 30 seconds, nothing much, nothing but this is also done. Go to home page here, multiple places, it will be there. I'll copy paste, I'll write one sign, copy paste. Uh, common utils dot explicit wait basic wait, wait time. Okay, I'll copy this line. Uh, in place of 30 seconds, I'll give this. Okay, nowhere we are hard coding the values, even this time also we are not hard coding. We are getting from a location. Okay. So fine, this part is done. Now save this. And login dot uh, page here also 30 seconds. Anywhere 30 seconds is there, just provide copy paste that. Paste uh, that common utils dot explicit wait time. Okay. All these four methods where 30 seconds is there, we have replaced that with common utils. Done. Login page is also done. Register page, a lot of methods will be there in the register page. We have to go one by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, okay, done. This many places we replaced and in such results page also finally, common utils dot explicit wait time. Explicit wait uh, basic time, okay. Same. And finally, after replacing all these uh, timings here and there, I'll go to the runner class and run this for the final time to see if everything is working fine or not. If 14 out of 14 tests are passing, then we are good. So we have definitely taken the framework to the next level with this element utils in this session. The tests are running. Okay, so last three scenarios to go. If we are good, then we are fine. So the last scenario, most probably, and uh, we'll get the report in a while. Okay, we got this report published also to the cloud. Copy this report, 
control C, come back here, paste it here. If any symbols got copied, remove that. And uh, yeah, this is fine. Press enter, we'll get the final report. You see, everything has worked fine, seamlessly working fine, right? Everything has worked seamlessly fine. So this is the thing, guys. Uh, this is all about uh, this session. Whatever I wanted to cover, I covered already. That is the element utils and constants I covered. Okay. <clears throat> Here one more constant I covered. Public, uh, static, uh, final, inch, explicit, uh, weight, basic time is equal to ten. Sorry, uh, not thirty, right? Thirty. Sorry. Like this, I implemented. Here. Page load timeout, I'm giving 15 seconds, right? Uh, 10. So I gave like this. These are the values I implemented in the framework. So that's fine, guys. Okay. So this is all about the element utils implementation and constants implementation in this Cucumber, so far created Cucumber hybrid framework. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.